So what is going on guys and welcome to a video where today I'm going to be showing you how to install Java, uh, Forge, Optifine, Shaders and Mods. I'm going to try to make this as quickly as possible. So um, without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing we want to download is Java. So if you click the link in the description for Java, it will take you straight to this page right here. Now we need Java to be able to download Forge and uh, Optifine. So as you can see over here, I've already got all this stuff so I'm not going to do it again. So when you come to this page, click agree and start free download. Once that happens, it will start downloading. I am obviously going to delete mine because I've already gotten Java. So once that happens, you just open it, bam, you do yes, and then I'm pretty sure it's done basically. Let me just... Okay, and now once you do that, you come up to this page right here. So it comes up with all this, you know, if you want to change your destination folder, then you do that, you click install, you pick where it is, you click next, and that's literally it. All you have to do, and it will automatically start, you know, downloading. Right, I've cancelled that, so it's, you know, just so I don't get it again. So once that's downloaded, bam, you're done. There's nothing else you need to do. Once you've done that, now let's move on to getting Forge, because that's the next thing we're going to need. Okay, now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing Forge in Minecraft. So click another link. I will, all the links are going to be labelled. So click the link, and it will take you to this page right here. Make sure it is on 1.16.5, otherwise it won't work. So if you don't have it, it's going to come up with this bit over here, click 1.16, and then go to 1.16.5. Once it takes you to this page, click on Installer over here, then it's going to take you to this site. Don't click anything on this site. I've obviously got some pretty ad blocker pog, so I don't get any ads right now. I've got some extra protect laser protection. So don't click anything on the site, just press skip and it'll automatically start downloading. Oh, down here is a jar file. It's gonna come up as a Java file, okay? So it's gonna ask you, this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep Forge 1.16? Anyway, you have to click keep. If, if it has Forge in the name, if it says, do you want to keep Forge? Then it's fine, download. Press keep, it's fine to download it. Now, all, what you want to do is just, you know, do this and just drag it there. Bam. There you go. That's that good stuff right there. You've got your forge all done. You click this and it's going to open up this right here. It's going to open mod system installer. So just write install client, make sure it's under Minecraft and then just press OK. If I click it, I'm pretty sure what it's going to do is it's going to install Forge for me. I don't want that right now, so I'm just going to X out of it, but you have to click OK. Now what we need to do is we need to download Optifine. Click the Optifine link in the description, it will take you to this site right here. All you need to do is click Mirror or Download. Mirror is a safer way to do it though. You press Download and bam, there you go, it's starting to download. If there's an ad, just, just leave it. Just don't even Bruh. touch this. Click keep one. If it has Optifine in the title, press keep. You're safe to do so. I'm just going to go back because I don't want to look at those ads. So, over here, we now have our Optifine ready to go. And then what you do is you drag it and take it down here. My mic just went really loud for some reason just then. I am very sorry about that. So, all you have to do, bam, right there. Now, what you're going to want to do, right, is, well, you've got Forge installed, right? 
can close this down. I'm just gonna bring it over here for now. One more second. I'm gonna open this up, right? And once you've downloaded Forge, it will come up in your Minecraft. Now, one thing I forgot to tell you is that make sure you have played 1.16.5 Minecraft Java Edition at least once before you, you know, start downloading a thing. Otherwise, it will not download. So as you can see right here, it's got Forge. I've got Optifine as well. Yes, it is normal for the exclamation triangle to be there. It is completely fine. Once you have Forge, it should come up there, but if it doesn't, go to Installations, click New, click, just type in Forge or anything, and make sure that it is version Forge. Now, or Optifine, whichever one. If you want, this is installing both of them together. So, once that's done, just click Forge and click Play. It will start up automatically. Your Minecraft will come up, and it's gonna come up with a bit of a weird screen. It's gonna come up like this, but it's, and it's completely normal. If you don't put it on, you know, full window, just leave it small before until it loads. And then once you've got this right, bam, bam. So you want so it comes up with this. It's gonna say all this stuff down here. It's gonna have everything else and it's gonna have this little mods tab you're gonna click that and you're gonna see all this stuff now what you want to do is you want to click open mods folder now you can see I have a whole bunch of mods here I'll show you how to do that in a bit here we have all this stuff and I as you can see I have Optifine right here so what you want to do is you want to actually I'm just gonna close Minecraft because we don't need Minecraft right now you want to get Optifine and you want to drag it over here not in this mods file I don't know why I have that but just in normal so as you can see Minecraft right here it's gonna come in mods and you just drag your Optifine in here that's all you need to do now I'm gonna be showing you how to download shaders now to download the CS shaders which is Sonic Ether's unbelievable shaders for me these are the best looking shaders because of just the amount of detail one thing I do find a bit, you know, off with this, these shaders is that if you have panes, the glass is, like the water won't show up, but otherwise it's completely fine. We're going to be downloading CS Renewed though, so what you want to do is you want to go down here, it's going to show CS Renewed, click download, and then it comes up with this little thing, you have to agree to everything, and you press download. Once it's download, it, mine comes up like this because I downloaded something and it's been like this now. It's gonna slowly come up once it's done. It's gonna come up and yeah, we're just gonna cut to when it actually is finished. Okay, bam! So there you go. It is now fully, you know, done. It's it's changed. What you want to do is you want to actually open it, right? Just double click it. And if it says, if it has, if whatever shader pack you're downloading, if it has shaders folder, then you're fine. You're not going to have to do anything else about it. Um, which is most of them, so like all the good shaders actually have a shaders folder. So all you want to do is, once again, open Minecraft, right? Because now you've installed Optifine, you want to make sure that your Optifine can actually, is like working. Because if it doesn't work, your shaders aren't going to work, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to open Minecraft with Forge, make sure it has Forge on. If you have it on Optifine, it's not going to work. Make sure it has Forge, so that Forge opens up and it also has um, Optifine installed. So now as you can see, if you're looking at this main page, you don't see Optifine anywhere. Usually it will say Optifine down on the bottom or it will just say Modded Minecraft. What you want to do is you want to go to Options, you want to go to Video Settings and it'll come up with Shaders right here. You do this and you click Open Shaders folder. Here you can see I've already got everything. All you need to do is just drag your shaders and you just need to put them in there. I've already gotten it, so I don't need to do it. Now what I'm going to show you to do is I'm going to show you how to install mods. One more thing before we go into the mods is that when you're opening 
like, you know, when you once you've got your shaders, it will come up instantly. It is not that you have to reload like your Minecraft, you don't have to restart your Minecraft. It will come up itself. Okay, so now we're going to go on to installing mods. So, I, as you can see, I've already got my mods folder opened up. You should know how to do that because I just told you not too long ago. If you, don't, if you can't remember, just go onto Minecraft, click mods, and then click open mods folder. Make sure you open Minecraft with Forge. Now, I'll be, do, I'll be installing a mod called the Vanilla Hammers mod. Most mods, if you want to be fully safe, make sure it is from curseforge.com. That is the safest place to get these mods from. So, as you can see, a whole bunch of hammers and, you know, like Thor's place, Thor's main mod. You can see right here, this is what we're installing. So, over here you can see recent files. If your one, if you want to make sure that you're getting 1.16.5, 1.16.4 will work. <coughs> But it is better to get 1.16.5 as for like better optimization. So all you want to click do is click download and it'll start downloading itself. It says 54321 and then it will instantly start downloading. Now, once again, it will ask, do you want to keep this file? And t once when it comes up, click yes, because that's going to, it's got, it's fine. If it has your mod name, it's fine. Just click it. Now what you want to do is you want to drag it and put it in there. That's all you have to do and you are done. That is your mod right there. Now, there was another mod. I'm going to find it right now. And once again, it will start showing you all your mods load in. And once it loads up, as you can see, all these mods are loading in. Now, this is one thing that could happen. Okay, so this is another problem that I just realized can come up. So sometimes some mods can be fabric mods and they won't load up with the Forge, like Curse Forge launcher. If that happens, most of them do have a Forge variant and they should probably write it in the like description, you know? So if I go to description, right, of the first one, which was Vanilla Hammers mod. This is a fabric mod. This won't work with Curse Forge. If you go all the way to the bottom and says Vanilla Hammers requires the fabric loader and the fabric API to run, we're using Curse Forge. So for a Forge variant, check out this one here. Click that link and it'll take you to the Forge version, and you can just once again files, and then just download. And the, the whole thing is the same though. It doesn't matter like. How you're using it it's always the same way of downloading the mods and putting them in so I'm just gonna open mods folder I'm going to open my vanilla hammers and I'm gonna drag that straight in BAM that's that now I'm gonna try and find the traverse which I will do now 16.4 will work those mods but if you want it to be better optimized it is best if you use your 1.16.5 ones Okay, so now, basically, okay, this is really sad, and it is incredibly sad, actually. They are not, the Traverse mods, like, makers, they're not planning to make a Forge version, so I can't use it with Chris Forge. Now, Patrick was the one who actually told me to use the Vanilla mods, and, not Vanilla mods, what am I doing, the Hammers mod, and he had a little list for me as well. So we're gonna wait for this to load up, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so this is another problem that may arise at some point. Some mods need another installation for it to actually be able to work. Now, if I open my mods folder, as you can see, some of these, like Citadel, was needed for Alex's mobs, I'm pretty sure, so that it would actually work. Once again, how it says more vanilla lib is not installed and that's what it needs. All you just do is you search that up and it comes up right here. More vanilla lib. This is the official one. So it's not like a scam or anything. 1.16.5. This one was updated one day ago. So it's the newest version. Download it. It's going to come up. Once again, do the exact same thing. 
drag it into your mods folder. Once it's downloaded, keep the file and just drag it in. Bam, that's all you need. I'm gonna reload my Minecraft again because I'm an idiot and we'll be right back. Okay, so here you can see there's nine mods loaded. The no warning came up. So now if you come here, it's gonna come up with all these st things. I'm gonna do this real quickly. I'm gonna go create new, I'm just gonna make it creative mode and I'm gonna make a new world. This is just to see, to make sure that the mods are actually working and we're not gonna come to any random problems if you know what I'm saying. So here's the world loading. I've got my CS Renewed shaders on. So everything should work fairly nicely. So as you can see, the shaders are working perfectly fine. I've got my animal dictionary from my Alex's mobs. The water looks phenomenal. If I just do a quick cheat of weather, rain, it's gonna start raining and you'll see why I prefer these shaders. As you can see, it's raining, it's turned dark. And watch this, in just a bit, the, the ground turns wet and there's droplets. There's water droplets. And this, like, what do you call it? This isn't just for the ground, it's for the water as well. And this, this shaders pack doesn't even take up that much. So now, if I go here and I type in hammers, all these hammers come up, which means it's working. Like, I don't even know what these do. So, the mod is working and it's completely fine to use them. If you have too many mods, your PC may just die, but, you know, just, so just make sure you don't load too many, and you should be... That's what the slime hammer does. And he died. So, that is basically the whole video. Oh, where are you going, boy? Pa! Nice. Okay, so that was the entire video, really. That was all we were doing for today. I was showing you how to install Java, how to install Forge, how to install uh, shaders, Optifine, and mods. So if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, check out all the links below, like my Twitch channel. I haven't streamed on there in ages. Uh, I plan to start doing soon. Uh, join, join the Discord. We don't do much there, but it's just fun to hang around, you know? Uh, check out the Instagram. I don't really care about that too much. Almost at 100 followers, though, so that's pretty pog. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Before we end the video, this idea was given to me by um, Mr. Vincent, or as his online name is, uh, Strike Wolf, or Commander Wolf. Yeah, it's Strike Wolf. He's on the Discord server, so if you want to talk to him, you might want to join. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. We'll see you in the next one.